Ladies and gentlemen, it is 8am in Scotland, so if I sound a little bit groggy in this video, that is why. Just woke up again, but the beef is not stopping. Drake has just dropped The Heart Part 6, which I quite like the title, you know, Drake is the 6 god. Freaky ass brother, he is 6 and 9 god. So he was pretty lucky that Kendrick didn't get around to using this title first. Now the biggest question on my mind at the moment is will he be specifically addressing the stuff that Kendrick has said on his previous two diss tracks? Because he's had some pretty intense stuff to say about Drake. Let's see what we get. I I I'm interested to hear it. I'm hoping Drake response here with the fire in his belly that he should have after what Kendrick has said about him on the last two tracks. Okay. All right. The Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. My Montreal connects stand up, not far down. The ones that you get and get stories from, they all clowns. <laughs> we plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. Okay, so this was a rumor that was going around on social media saying that Drake was feeding that information to Kendrick about a supposed unnamed daughter of Drake's out there that was another child that he was hiding. Drake is claiming here that that was the case, that they did plant that information. I'm wondering what the validity of that is, or if Drake saw people saying on social media that, oh yeah, Drake was probably feeding that information to Kendrick, and thought to himself, yeah, I'll run with that. It really doesn't dismantle Meet the Grahams though, because there's three other verses. Uh, and s some more, some more pressing claims on there than than the the unnamed daughter stuff. You gotta learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. The Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. Master manipulating, you bid on a speculation about the cover. Why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave free and not Mr. Morale? Dave leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child. Hold on, all right. Somebody that Kendrick is affiliated with commenting some hearts on Instagram under pictures of Kendrick's children. That doesn't mean he's the father. That's like such a reach. That's such a strange point to bring up. Like that is just something that family friends do. Like saying that Kendrick's fiance follows Dave Free on Instagram, but not Kendrick Lamar. Again, not the greatest diss of all time, but I guess you could at least paint it to be as if there's something there. But saying he leaves heart comments under pictures of the kids on Instagram, like, that's just that's just a family friend thing, no? Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. My mom came over today and I was like, mother I, mother I, mother ah, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Oh fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This is trauma from your own confessions. It's when your father leave you home alone with no protection, so neglected. Oh, that's Okay. Ooh, that's just getting kind of gross now, man. I don't think this is a good look, Aubrey. That's really weird. That's really weird. When someone alleges that you're a pedophile or a sex trafficker, probably the worst thing you can say in response is, oh, you're just saying that because you were molested. Like, what the fuck are you saying, man? Wow, this is the worst angle you could have taken with this track, Aubrey. Hey guys, Editor CDTV here. Now, admittedly, it's been a little while since I listened to Mr. Morrell, so I didn't recall this on the spot, but that isn't even what Mother I Sober actually says. Like, this is a lyric from the song. Family ties, they accused my cousin. Did he touch you, Kendrick? Never lied, but no one believed me when I said he he didn't. Drake doesn't even know what the song is about. Drake made himself look like a horrible person, and he just got the track completely wrong, which it, it almost feels like a parody. What a fucking idiot, man. That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with. It's so excessive. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play. You probably start reflecting. I never been with no one underage, but now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with. This isn't even a good diss. This doesn't really deflect things from Drake. This just makes him look worse. Now, I already know what some people are going to be saying. Oh, it's beef, it's diss tracks, there are no limits. But that doesn't mean you can't say something that just comes across as really dumb. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous. But that's not how that works. 
Okay, there's plenty of people that get away with this shit, especially when they are rich and famous. What kind of defense is that? If I was doing this, I would have been arrested. There's a track record in our world to say that that is not the case, Drake. And I'm not saying he definitely has done stuff like that, but I'm saying that that is not a good defense. The funny thing about this is, even if what Drake said at the beginning of this track is true about him planting that information on Kendrick and making Kendrick and tricking Kendrick into thinking that he has a hidden secret daughter, it doesn't even matter at this point. You just undid it with everything you said right here because you've made yourself look worse. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested, but that that's not the lesson. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested. That's how people get away with it. That's how, that's literally how people get away with it, Drake. Deep cuts that never healed and now they got infected. Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant. Drake is not a name that you gonna see on no sex offender list. Easy does it. You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp. Thought you left D flat, D major. I slit your throat with the razor. Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never look twice at no teenager. I'm a fucking hit. That's not true. <laughs> You've kind of put yourself in the corner here. Stop buying views and buy comments. You may as well keep the paper. Shit you about to need for later. You could drop a hundred more records. I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe when you meet your maker. If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, then your music is going to a hypocrite. Okay, so that was Drake addressing the whole Kendrick and other artists, I believe, threatening to pull their music from Spotify because there was a policy in about 2018 that was was basically gonna stop music from certain artists being promoted, like R. Kelly and at the time XXXTentacion. But the, the problem that most artists had with that policy is that the rule set for it or the wording was very vague and TDE representatives specifically said the reason that Kendrick wanted to remove his music is because he was concerned that it would unfairly be used against people of color. And I actually had a discussion about this with someone in my comments, which is why it's for fresh on my mind. I have never seen a source where Kendrick or a representative of Kendrick has specifically said that they were threatening to pull Kendrick's music in support of R. Kelly specifically. It's that they didn't agree with the policy and how it could have been used in the future. That's the only thing that they've said. So that's that. A album dropping soon, no wonder you turn a cloud chase instead of doing hard labor. Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. And when I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this shit was some some good exercise. Like Bro, your pen you fucking flopped on this I one. Was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but you got ten more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. You know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you. You asked for you this. The game, you right? dropped Taylor Made Freestyle literally begging Kendrick to drop. And now you're talking about, ah, you're, you're dropping too much. You can keep dropping some more little records if you want. You literally asked for this. I'm waiting on you to return the favor, like. Oh, wow. There is no way that was your response. Now, it would be good for Kendrick to directly respond to what Drake has said about him with the, you know, fiance abuse allegations. That would be good. But I think Drake had just about the worst response possible you could have. Well, that's not true. The worst response possible would be saying, bro, you, you got me. You got me. That would be worse for Drake. But this was about the second worst response you could have to all of the certified lover boy, certified pedophile stuff. I wouldn't be confident enough to sit in this chair right now and say what Drake definitely has or hasn't done. So that's not what I'm saying with all of this. I'm just saying how things look. And let me just say, Drake needs a fucking fantastic PR person to write his next diss track, honestly. Or at least have them in the room. I get the intention to, to basically paint Kendrick's 
uh, perspective as unreliable. He's been through something so traumatic, so he's letting that influence this situation and what he says, but the way he pulled it off, the way he worded it, the way he said stuff here was genuinely awful. You know what's crazy? It started off solid. It started off all right. I think Drake doubling down on that rumor that Drake fed him some false information for his diss tracks was solid, and it had me thinking, huh, that does hurt a little bit of Kendrick's credibility in these disses if he was fed some false information and then portrayed it as fact on these songs, but then Drake just spent three of the rest of the minutes of the song completely dismantling his own diss track. It, it sort of overshadows anything else he had to say on here. I feel like this is a track that might sound good or well written if you don't think about it. If you just think for a little second about the stuff that Drake is saying, it is so easy to just have rebuttals to it as a listener. I'm, I'm genuinely flabbergasted at this. Stunned. Gobsmacked. The Heart Part 6 is one of the weakest disses to come out of this feud. Genuinely a diss track that just feels nasty to listen to and not in the right way you know there's there's a right way to do that and this is absolutely not the right way with that being said you can click on the screen right here to check out my reaction to not like us and much love to my channel members and patreon supporters over there with a special shout out to i am region kwg13270 lucas1123 neo striker and wormst